Hey guys, I thought I'd do a quick little quote drop in and uh, we'll show you guys what we got going on at the new home build. So, been running a lot of tape. I've been in and out like crazy, um, just trying to keep filling in, filling in, filling in out here. Uh, but we've still got stuff going on in Tosa and then we've got some other projects going on. Plus now I have physical therapy three days a week that basically totally just takes my morning and throws it out the window. So <clears throat> basically I don't get anything actually going until like lunchtime. Um, I'm the only one doing any of the work on this. I got the guys doing other stuff, being productive other places while I kind of fight through the drywall on my own. So, um, so far we got all the flats taped and we got the big vault done. So um, we used straight flex up there and on all the other off angle stuff. So uh, those are all taped. And then right now I'm gonna go back and I just loaded up the bazooka and we're gonna start hitting some of our internal corners uh, up top. So I got all the lower internals run. So all of our, all of our flats and all of our vertical corners are taped and done. Uh, I have to run out the two bedrooms, the bathroom, this hallway, and then on the other side of the house, we have to tape out uh, the master, the master closet, master bath. So then we'll have the entire house taped out and done um, <clears throat> so I can get that stuff all into mud. Uh, I'm gonna try and do, now that I've got some time on the bazooka, there's no sense in showing you guys how to run it when I'm still learning. Um, we had a little mishap uh, somehow in the design, um, chief architect decided that outside there's a sconce next to this door. Chief architect put it over here and the electricians just went off the plan. So, uh, as we're getting our exterior stuff started, I had Brian go through and start nailing on siding blocks. And then I noticed a siding block way over here and I was like, whoa, hold on a minute. There should not be a siding block next to a window. So I had to have the electrician back out. Um, so I couldn't do any of the tape in the garage yet, but that's fine because we're working through the exterior package. There's siding soffit fascia right there. So as we work through the siding soffit fascia and that goes up, that'll free up the garage and then I'll just come out here and I'll kind of take care of this on its own. Um, I'd rather tape everything all at once and then mud everything all at once, but it's just not gonna work out right now. So uh, I'm gonna take care of the house, get the house rolling, primer paint, et cetera. Um, so that we can keep other, you know, we can get, as soon as I'm painted, I'm gonna get the electricians through to trim this place out so we have power and lights everywhere. And then it's game on as far as, uh, as far as the trim game goes. So we'll, we'll, we'll trim it out. We'll do, we're doing the, we're doing a pre-engineered floor, um, a nail down. <clears throat> it's like seven inches wide, I think. Um, we're doing the tile work here. Um, we're doing all the cabinets. We're doing all the trim. So as soon as we can get the electricians through, then we can really start rocking and rolling in here. So that's kind of where we're at. Um, outside, um, I just hired another subcontractor. So he's kind of getting things rolling, but outside we have, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but we have soffit and fascia started. Um, and basically probably about three quarter of the house is done. So he's gonna hopefully get that finished up tomorrow and then they're gonna jump right into vinyl siding and we'll get the exterior package wrapped up. We've got like 20, 28, 30 degrees right now on the forecast. Sorry, I don't know what's going on. I got the hiccups all of a sudden. Um, so outside is not muddy but it's not terribly cold, so we can actually get some stuff done. So that's all looking pretty good. So that's kind of where we're at. As soon as I get uh, get the mud finished in the house, I'll probably do a how-to video on how all these uh, automatic tools work in the garage, because it's just kind of a quick, easy place that I can run through and show how the bazooka tapes, sput joints, tapered joints, corners, so on and so forth. So that's where we're at. Hope you guys enjoyed the little drop-in. I'll get this posted up so you guys can keep kind of following along. The trailer is outside, still torn apart. I need to throw insulation at it and uh, order some stuff for the 12 volt electrical and whatnot. So 
that's where we're at with uh, that's where we're at with life right now. Thanks for dropping in, and uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Take her easy.